Our world is slowly driving towards a new era where the television will have to give away to the streaming platforms such as YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus and others. This inevitable change has begun a couple of years ago when YouTube commenced producing its own original series. In this video we will analyze to what extent do these projects rely on the same elements that have contributed to the success of the science fiction and reality genre in the television. Science fiction is a genre which has given to the world some of the most iconic films and television series, so it's no surprise YouTube began producing content from this genre in an attempt to attract as many viewers as possible. From the beginning it became clear the desire of producers to provide the audience with a content corresponding to the established norms of the sci-fi genre. Let's start with the traveler or runaway which usually is a central character to the story. This stereotype originates from the 60s and have remained an important aspect of the genre till our days. From the analyzed series can be seen that YouTube's originals do not make any difference. Most of the main characters in some form have the ability to travel through space or time and this their skill is frequently the catalyst for the presented conflict which eventually turns them into runaways. An example for productions which have incorporated this element are the series Origin, Impulse and Lifeline plus the movie The Thinning. The main exception from this category is the comedy oriented Weird City. This anthology series is presenting the stories of different types of people and often it deals with the struggles of their lives. However, here is more explicitly presented another important element for the science fiction genre, the futuristic mise en scène. Normally, the science fictions are taking place in future times, where our world has changed dramatically. For this reason, the mise en scène usually includes objects apparently unknown to our senses, signifying the actions and thoughts forward in time. So it's no surprise to witness smart lenses, artificial intelligence, or flying cars. The third vital element for the genre incorporated in the YouTube's originals is the predominant use of hard, low-key lighting. Having talked about how the plot usually takes place in the future, the darker colors seek to give mystery to the presented new world. As every director has its own vision about the future, he usually places the main character in such spot that makes him explore the hidden secrets of this world. Bear in mind the viewer usually identifies with the main character, the audience is put in position with no clue of what to expect. Here the lighting is very important as it enables the director to use the moment of surprise as he is trying to impress the viewer. Realities are the other genre that enjoys a popularity among YouTube consumers. It is a well-known fact that most world-famous programs such as Survivor and X Factor are uploading a majority of their videos in the platform. For this reason, YouTube logically is making an attempt to incorporate this genre in YouTube's originals. The biggest advantage of the already streaming shows is that they follow the examples of the established rarities, which are still managing to entertain the audience daily. In first place, we should outline the fact that reality television aims at presenting us the real face of a person. Such examples from the YouTube's originals are the shows Kevin Hart, What the Fit and F2 Fighting Football. Both of them meet us with famous people from different areas of our world from actors, through footballers, to vloggers. The hosts involve their guests in a variety of fun activities in an attempt to reveal more of their inside life and present them as an ordinary people. The main idea that these shows are following is that the more one enjoys his spend time, the more he is willing to share about his life. This approach was first introduced by Jimmy Fallon in his show when he began to challenge his guests into a different types of funny games. The second key element to the reality television are the confessions made by the participants. To a large extent, this element is a considered consequence of the first one, as normally people are not very open to share their insights unless they are not being themselves. Arguably, this element becomes vital to the reality genre thanks to the show Big Brother and its introduction of the confession room. Inside it, people express their feelings and opinions about their roommate's behavior. In the world of YouTube's originals, this element is involved in similar aspect. As an example could be used the series Escape the Night. Usually the participants are forced to solve a task or find a murderer, in quotes. During the editing, a recorded materials with participants expressing their position are placed to familiarize the viewer with multiple points of view. In other series, like Best Cover Ever or Arrive, the confessions are trying to present us more about the inner worlds of the people involved. Bear in mind in these shows the dramatic element is highly incorporated, it is no surprise if people's confessions are heartbreaking stories followed by tears. The third element I'd like to discuss is the sound, its variations and how they are implemented in the reality genre. As we all know, the talent shows have been dominating the television screens 
in the recent years, with the majority of performances given by skillful musicians. Not surprisingly, YouTube also used this concept in two of its most watched varieties, Best Cover Ever and Arrive. In both shows, an ordinary people are demonstrating their singing abilities in an attempt to begin a successful career. Their mentors are some of the most famous people from the musical branch. All in all, these shows are about singing and how it could open many doors for you in the future. However, music's involvement in reality does not end up with simply performing it. In Kevin Hart, What the Fit, Escape the Night and F2 Finding Football, the songs or the sound effects add to the atmosphere of the occurring events. As a contrast to Arrived and Best Cover Ever, in this case the sound is mostly non-diegetic and it's placed during the editing process. To summarize, I'd say that if one day sci-fi and realities transfer from TV to YouTube, they will be in safe hands, as the key elements from the genres would certainly be implemented.